What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and so I'm going to make Hello Neighbor Alpha 1 Neighbor House. Um, here it is, I don't actually get to show the entire thing because my thing disconnected, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, I'm doing everything but the fence, the fence I'm not doing. I'm doing that in the interior for the first floor. Um, I know that's kind of dumb, but I literally, this took me like two hours to record, so, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. That's the wrong button. Alrighty, so the space needed for this, including the fence, is a 45 by 60. I forgot to get the number for the not fence included, I'm sorry. And the materials you will be needing to start off are... Uh, let's not go there for... Oh, God. Uh, cobblestone. I'm gonna say glass panes. I know that's kind of a weird one to start off with, but we have, like, so many weird materials, I just want to get them out of the way. Uh, we'll go pink concrete. That's not even pink. Okay, I'm colorblind. Light blue concrete. Yellow wool. Strict, str strict, stripped oak wood. Um, smooth quartz blocks. Hold on, let me confirm what this other material is. A uh, block, of course. That's kind of ironic. And. We'll go smooth stone slabs, I think. You need a lot more than that. You need, um... Oak stairs and... S oak stair slabs and planks. Dark oak stair slabs and planks. White concrete, iron trap doors, uh, levers to power those trap doors. Smooth stone blocks, dark oak buttons. That's probably not even everything. Um, also, I'm just wanna, gonna throw this out here instantly. I'm doing this on PC, so if I'm a little bit weird with things, then that's why. Uh, this is gonna be, like, really done differently. Anyway, starting from the front left-hand corner of your 45 by 60 grid cough coffee you made, you wanna start by counting right by 12. And back by 10. And you wanna start off by going right with two cobblestone. Five smooth stone slabs. Two cobblestone, the lag might also be an issue. Then go back with five. Right one. Then leave a two block gap. And then place... Hold on, I just lost my place. Ten cobblestone. Why is it lagging? This is literally land. Um... I'm gonna have troubles with that, aren't I? Then go back with 10. Right 3. Back 10. Left 3. Uh, where was I? Back 8. Left 5. Back three, left 13, forward six, then going right, you want to leave a one block gap, then place two cobblestone, go forward with five, left by nine. Forward 15. Right by 3, and then you'll place 9 moving forward, which should connect you back to the start. Which is correct. There you go. There's your layout. Done. That is pretty easy. Kind of a weird looking layout, to be honest. Kind of absolutely wild. Uh, we're going to start at these smooth stone slabs. And the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is bring them forward a row, just because... But also bring them back with a row of block of quartz. These two, I don't know why I put them next to each other. That's going to be catastrophic. Uh, you can bring that up with three additional rows of blocks of quartz, though. Get rid of the block of quartz and get out dark oak buttons for a quick second. And then along the top row, you want to place a row of dark oak buttons. Get rid of those if the lag would stop. Why? I don't understand this, man. Get rid of the dark oak buttons to get out oak planks, and we'll not use them right now, but we'll have them. So, 
at this garage, you want to, at the front left and front right hand corners of said garage, you want to bring these corners up with a smooth quartz block, pink concrete, smooth quartz block, hello, and then pink concrete, and again do that on both corners. Now what you can do is basically just kind of fill in the front with pink concrete. So basically inside from either of those rows, place a row of pink concrete. And then also above the block of quartz, you can place a row like so. Pretty good start. I also am probably going to end up actually switching it back to console in a minute here, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Um, at the right side of this garage, you can make these six. No, that's not how you count. Five rows of cobblestone. We can bring them up with four rows of pink concrete. Like so. I'm going to tell you to, in this little doorway here, where you have the two ca cobblestone gap along this wall here, you can just place two oak planks. Bring each oak plank forward by two, and then extend left by one, and also right by two. Like so. Place on top of... Basically, you want to go until... Let me confirm this really quickly. You want to basically place yellow wool on top of this entire foundation until you reach this corner right here. This corner wants to be a pink concrete. So I'm going to actually place a pink there just so it's there. So literally the entire front and right side of the house. And then once you kind of go in at the back for the first time there, well, not really the first, but I guess the second time, that's where you'll stop. Um, so this, again, this entire thing is yellow wool on top of each cobblestone. Okay, guess that row's not happening. Cool, good to know. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. Yeah, uh, I got disconnected a second ago, which is why you probably noticed this small edit. Uh, if I could disconnect it again, then I'm switching, which would be another edit. But I'll also announce it just because it's pretty good enough for how skilled I am going to be. There you go. That's how much yellow wool you need. And then if you really want to know that back section there is pink, and then that is, I think it's yellow. I feel like that's yellow. I feel like that whole thing's yellow and then that's pink. Although that could be light blue, I'm not exactly sure. I don't have this thing memorized. Um, anyway, you can basically um, kind of start from this first yellow wool and just going around in the same type of orderly fashion. You're going to want to place, hold on, give me a second here to actually get over there. You're going to want to place a yellow wool, then you can skip over the doorway and then place, place four. Yes, four yellow wool. Four glass pins. I almost like stuttered or screwed up there because I was thinking black for some reason, black stained glass. Two yellow wool, and then you can just bring this back with. I want to say this is 13. It's 10. 10 and 13 are really not the same number, but it's close enough. Then you can go right with the three there, and then you can go back. Hold on, there's so many barriers. You can go back with a yellow wool, four glass panes. Five yellow wool, and then the three going left, and then going back, you'll place two yellow wool, glass pane, yellow wool, glass pane, three yellow wool, and then you can finish off with the four across the back here, like so. Copy that row one more time, except over the door where you do want to also place yellow wool. Yeah, why is this struggling? Oh my goodness gracious. I really don't understand this. If it was like, you know, if there was another thing happening, but it's... Yeah, I understand it's a land game, whatever. But like, you know, I had problems even with the build battle. Except that wasn't this bad. Like, this is brutal. If it uh, is still doing it and I'm done the first floor and I haven't been disconnected, I'll probably just switch anyway. Although I've got a feeling I'm getting disconnected before then. You know, I just kind of get that feeling. You then want to just place a... I guess not really a row. It kind of is a row. Just, you want to place one row yellow wool on top of all that. And then that will cap off the right side along with the front side, actually. They're now both done. Nice. Picking up from, I actually was right, yeah, it is yellow over here, good to know. 
But picking up from this pink concrete that we placed, you want to basically, until you reach this doorway gap here, you want to place pink concrete on top of this entire little kind of hook shape almost. And then at the corners, instead of pinks, you will place smooth quartz blocks. Uh oh. So again, just a run and then these smooth quartz on the corners. Now I've switched to console, which you'll probably notice an audio quality difference as well. It's a little bit annoying. I don't know why it does that. So we're going to do this part in some segments here. Hold on. Let me actually get in position with my alt account now. I'm going to kind of do this the positioning game here. Um, so basically going along the back, what you want to do is going from this side, so the yellow wool side to the open side, which they're both going to be yellow wool, so that was not the best description, but it's fine. You want to place two pink concrete, two glass pans, and then the rest of this row on this side wants to be pink concrete. Actually, the entire rest of this wants to be pink concrete, including this right side, I suppose, like that. Next row, I'm going to instruct this one a little bit differently here. You want to bring each glass pane up with a glass pane. And then on each corner, you want to again place smooth quartz blocks. So on the three corners like that. At the left side here, you'll go front to back or back to front. Does not matter. Place pink concrete, glass pane, pink concrete, glass pane, pink concrete. And then everything else wants to be brought up with a pink concrete. Like so. And then you can bring everything up with an additional pink concrete from there. Also, some of these corners might not stay what they are. Like this one, I'm going to make pink concrete, which that is only important in like six seconds here. Uh, so basically, what you want to do is in the doorway here, what you're going to want to do is you want to place an oak plank at the base. And then bring it forward with four oak planks. Extend that right a row and also left a row. I screwed that up on the grid. <laughs> the row of stairs is here. I didn't forget it this time. Um, what you want to do is you want to, again, at the two blocks to the right of the door, which is these two, you just want to bring them up with four pink concrete. Whoopsies. Four pink concrete per. And then the uh, top two you'll just connect across above that doorway there, which the door is not in the doorway yet, but just, you know, pretend that it's there. Um... So, this is where I hate having to describe these things, because I'm like, how the frick am I supposed to approach this? So basically, what you want to do is you want to take this wall that's perpendicular to the wall we just made, so it's this one right here. It's to the right of that little, um, little deck thing, or I guess, yeah, that, and also the one in front of it. So this row right here, you're basically creating an L-shape like that of yellow wool, and it wants to be four rows of it. There's not a whole ton happening here. It's kind of just there. I don't know. Um, so yeah. There you go. Now, moving forward, you want to make this entire, um, left wall here, this long one, just this one row yellow wool at the base. Like that. I know my descriptions are slowly going out the window, but it's okay, we'll get there. Uh, going back to front, you want to place two yellow wool... Glass pane, yellow wool, glass pane, yellow wool, glass pane, yellow wool, glass pane, and then you'll place six yellow wool at the end. Copy that row one more time. Whoopsies. Okay, we'll get there, I swear. Someday. And then place a row of yellow wool on top. Make this little indent here where at the front it goes in, it goes right through rows. You'll make that all yellow wool. And then at the shut up phone. And then at the um, front section here, this one remaining wall we have, you'll place two rows of pink concrete at the base, like so. And then going back to front, you want to place pink concrete, glass pane, pink concrete. Glass pane, pink concrete, glass pane, and then three pink concrete. And then place a row of pink concrete on top of that. Like so. Um. Okay. I'm going to do one thing to save us some inventory space. 
So come back to the garage just for a second here. And where you have your smooth stone slabs, you'll you want to break two rows of smooth stone or two rows of the grass in front of those smooth stone slabs, or just play smooth stone blocks with the smooth stone slabs. Just easier that way. And then we're gonna do a like a hyper switch real quick. So get rid of the smooth stone slabs, get out oak stairs, and at either kind of porch thing you want to place oak stairs where it's logical. So basically, I'm gonna actually explain it more deeply than that. At the uh, front doors here, which is the double door, you'll just place a row of oak stairs in front. I believe there's nothing special going on, although let me confirm this real quick. Yeah, okay, we're good. And then at the left one, it's a row off the left, and there's, again, no curvature, nothing happening. It's just a simple row of stairs. Like so. You can get rid of your oak stairs and get out birch doors, and I'm going to actually start with this little kind of back door here. You want to place a birch door in this, but that's not exactly what you want. You want the handle on the left side of the door, like that. And then the front door is just a double door. There's really nothing crazy happening there. Get rid of your cobblestone, because I don't think we need it anymore. And get out oak buttons. And right of the door, at the front door, at the right of the top block, you'll place an oak button. That's your doorbell, which also opens your door. And uh, I'm not crazy with this, but, you know, I'm sure if you really wanted, you can make a command with it. it actually does a ring of some sort. I don't know. I just do a normal bell. You can also get rid of your oak buttons and get out, I'm going to say, oak fence. Do I want to do the thing with the oak fence yet, though? No, I don't think I want to. I'm just going to have you get it out. Um, now, this is where uh, everything goes fun. So, you want to take out your stripped oak wood, and you want to start from the front right-hand corner of the garage, that's this one, and you'll place, this one is up and down facing. You can also, I guess, actually bring it back along that entire row of pink concrete. Not all that's visible, but just, it's nice to have that there. And you're going to basically follow the shape that you have until you reach the patio. So... Or until, yeah, until you reach the patio at the back left kind of thing. So basically, you're just going to go above the pink and above the yellow. And then once you hit the back part of this yellow here, you'll go just right by six. And then you'll go straight back, and it should line up perfectly with the pink concrete, and then you'll stop at the corner there. Now, and I also want to say before I keep going around, the corners are up and down stripped oak woods. Just so you're aware. Hold on, I'm not understanding my own notes. I literally took these yesterday. I should be understanding this. Oh, okay. And then when you hit the back where you have the pink, you're going to go all the way across with across the top of the pink, and then you're going to keep going until you're one further than this yellow wool section here, the one with the two one-by windows, like that. And then this should also be up and down facing. Now, what you're going to want to do then is you want to bring this forward until you are in line with this yellow wool, and then you'll just kind of go on top of this little sticky outy section just fine, and then go into this corner like that. And then there you want to stop again. So let me show you an overhead real quick. Really, this part is not wild at all. There's nothing interesting with numbers about this. It's kind of just do it, and then you're done. Now, I'm going to give a weird instruction in a second here, I think. Um, yeah, but from this, actually, what you want to do is you want to bring this forward with three stripped oak. Then go right with two, and that should be an up-down facing one. Forward with ten. And then left by nine. So that'll stop just before your porch roof, which is correct. Or before your uh, porch, I mean, not your. there's no roof here yet. That's what it says in the notes, but that's not technically right in this circumstance. Uh, no, I'm not actually going to say tell you to do that yet, because that's kind of a weird thing. Um, I will tell you, though, that we can use our oak fence now. Do I want to do the support? It's literally one support. It's not that hard. Um, at the front right corner where you have this where it overhangs more, you'll just take this corner and just bring it down to the ground with stripped oak. And also, actually, the back right of that little thing. 
like, so I'm probably gonna forget something, and I don't want to forget it, but it's probably gonna happen anyway. Okay, this is where things get weird. So, let me go back to the front on my PC real quick. Okay. At the right and the left, oak stairs at the porch. You want to bring them up with four oak fence. Whoopsies. Preferably straight up. Um, okay, hold on, I'm struggling. And then at the... You can bring them inward by one at the front, or at the top ones like that. And also, I'd actually bring the bottom one of that right just back by two. So you can't just walk off the edge, and also because it's like that in the game. I don't know what you expected. Okay, now... I'm gonna say... Get back out your oak stairs. Get rid of your oak fence for this. Because we... I really don't want to forget some of these steps. These steps are really weird. Um, you basically want to connect that row of stripped oak wood, uh, that's to the right of the porch. You want to extend it left and touch it into the garage, or connect it to the garage with oak stairs. That left one will end up being a plank, although I don't know if you want to worry about that right now. If you do, then go for it. You have planks. Um, and now at the two, let me see if it's actually the way, okay, yeah, it is the way that it should be. At these two supports here, these stripped oak woods, you're going to place upside down oak stairs in the corners of them to basically make it look a little bit more supported, I guess. That's kind of wild, look, kind of a wild sentence. Um, like that. It's really nothing crazy happening. There is actually a gap here in these, but it's Minecraft. And then one other thing, we don't actually have anything for this yet, um, but at the back where you have it overhang the pink, and basically in line with the yellow, you'll place, um, basically on the, not the middle yellow wool, but the one left and right of that, you'll place upside down oak stairs just off the wall. That'll make more sense in a little bit. I don't want to do this step involving this, because we have to get things for that, and I really don't feel like getting any other materials. Although we're going to get there in a second here, which is actually going to probably be right now. So I'll come back to the front, because we need to be at the front. I am actually going to tell you to make that, uh, oak... Stare uh, an oak plank at the left there at the front. I know that's a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm just looking at this. So, get rid of your... Okay, never mind, I was looking at the wrong hotbar. Get rid of your um, birch door. We're gonna need it again. It's gonna be a lot of juggling, I'm just telling you right now. Get out dark oak stairs, and what you want to do is basically... Going backward diagonally upward from this row of uh, oak stairs. You want to place a row of dark oak stairs. And including that plank that we have there. Then get rid of that dark oak stair and get out dark oak slabs and go upward diagonally backward of the row of dark oak slabs. If you want to use dark oak slabs for dark oak planks, you can actually fill in the underside of this. Although I'm going to wait on that personally. Behind the row of dark oak slabs, you want to place a row of light blue concrete. Like that. You want to go left to right or right to left on top of that row of five, does not matter. Place two light blue concrete, glass pane, two light blue concrete. And then place another row of light blue on top of that. Just kind of starting to slowly build up. We'll get there eventually. Um... What I'm going to actually tell you to do is I'm going to tell you to take, I guess, the top light blue concrete, because that's convenient enough, and bring it left one, forward two, hold on, left eight, and then I would just connect it down. And if you want to, like, wall this thing off and just kind of make a rectangle here and then, you know, fill it in. I would recommend doing so, like this. Not all this is going to even be seen, but it's just good to have it because, you know, it's important. Uh, You don't need your smooth quartz anymore, so get rid of that. And get out. Oak slabs. And you want to... Alright, this is where things get a little bit strange, and I'm not sure why they are this way. They just kind of are... Take that oak plank at the porch roof, and you want to take this, this, you know, lone plank, and bring it forward with three upside-down oak slabs. Off the left of the garage, you want to take the first... The front three stripped oak woods and bring them left with upside-down oak slabs, and then extend off the front by one. 
then what you want to do is you want to kind of play just like a little bit of a steeple game. So we're kind of trying to meet at a point here. And what you want to do for that is you want to bring each side in with an upside down oak slab. Off with an oak slab. In with an oak plank. Oh god. In with an upside down oak slab. Up with an oak slab. In with an oak plank. And then you'll have a one block center. And what you want to do with this center is you want to place an upside down oak stair in it that faces forward with an oak slab on top. And then the peak you can just kind of fill in with pink concrete like so. Whoopsies. There you go. Uh, if you want to get rid of... Ooh, what can we get rid of? We literally need everything again. So I'm just going to tell you to get rid of... Oh my god. I guess the oak planks, because we don't need those a ton. And ironically, replace them with dark oak planks. And then you can just bring that entire peak back with its respective dark oak material until you hit light blue. Okay, bye. Until <laughs> you hit light blue. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, to be honest. I literally didn't even do anything, though. Like, what was the intention with that Minecraft? God, I really dislike this. Um, actually, while we're thinking, or while I'm thinking about it, you're not thinking about anything, probably. You want to come to the underside of this section right here. And it's at the front, and it includes below the porch. You want to fill in this entire kind of L-shape in with dark oak planks. And I'm going to tell you one other thing with this that's important for the inside. Uh, once we do this. But yeah, it, it's really just, you know, a little bit of dark oak filling in. The undersides of these are kind of a dark oakish color. Now, for this, as I rejoin on my PC account, um... I place barriers under this to prevent the water from doing that thing where it drips. It's kind of up to you what you do with that. But I was like, yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. So I ended up putting barriers underneath. If you want to do that, you can. I'm not going to do that because it's not worth my time. Uh, oh, hey, look, I'm back. Um, and I fell from the sky. So, <laughs> anyway. What can we get rid of? I guess get rid of your dark oak planks now and get out orange terracotta. And you want to, on top of each stripped oak at this kind of front section here, you want to place... Basically, you want to place orange terracotta at this front and at this right here. Front and right of this, so you're just kind of creating an L shape or a corner. That's all I'm worrying about for right now with the logistics of it. It's going to be brought in, but I'm just going to worry about that in a, a second here once we actually bring this up. Then going across the... Hold on, let me get a better angle here. And going across the front, you want to place three orange terracotta, glass pane... Orange terracotta. I'm going to close OBS on my PC real quick. Uh, glass pane. Orange terracotta. Glass pane and then two orange terracotta. Then go back with two. Then place a glass pane. Orange terracotta. Glass pane. Orange terracotta. Glass pane and then three orange terracotta. Copy that row one more time. I'm going to have to take a quick cut in a second. I got to make sure these video clips don't get too long because I know this tutorial is going to be like four hours. So um, if I make them too long, it's going to have a whole issue. And you can place a row of orange terracotta on top of that like so. And then again, if you look at it from an overhead, you're going to notice there's some weird things happening. So basically, you just kind of want to fill those in. So I'd bring the orange terracotta here. I'd actually bring this back by three rows, just so the corners kind of connect nicely. And then at the uh, back left, I'd bring it left two rows, like so. I'm going to take that quick cut, and then I shall be back in a moment. And I'll see how long that was. Alrighty, we shall keep moving along nicely. And what you're going to want to do here is... Um, oh my god, what do we get rid of this time? I guess orange terracotta, because I don't even think we're going to need it another time. And get out of birch door. And what you're going to want to do is, at the back of the orange terracotta, you want to place, going back, three light blue concrete. Then go right with three. Then go back with five. Then a birch door with the handle facing forward, and then you can place three light blue con- or four light blue concrete, I should say. And then you will just bring it, uh, left by two, like that. And then that whole ordeal, you want to bring that up with three rows of light blue concrete. Except for the door, you'll bring that up with two. 
So you're going to notice there's a lot of symmetry happening here. We're just building up walls to the same height, and then we're, you know, kind of working floor by floor. It's just more logical for my brain to do it that way, because that was how I wrote it down, and, you know, when I write things down, of course, I'm going to be right. Uh, hold on, let me confirm that uh, my theory is correct, which it actually is. Okay, on top of every single other stripped oak wood that we have, you want to place a light blue concrete. So, yeah, we're going to basically, the entire rest of this floor is light blue concrete. Pretty much the entire second floor is light blue concrete. Except for the orange section, but the orange section is kind of built different, so I don't really know. And then we're going to go around in the same way that we placed that. So we're going to start from the back right here, and we're going to work around, and we're going to play a numbers game, because we love numbers here. We don't. Okay, so going back here, you want to place three light blue concrete, glass pan, Light blue concrete, glass pan, light blue concrete, glass pan, three light, okay, hold on, I did not hit the right button, three light blue concrete, not hitting any right buttons, hold on, I'm throwing things now, uh, then going across the back, light blue concrete, glass pan, then after that glass pan, you'll place a light blue concrete, glass pan, uh, I think it was five? Yes, five light blue concrete, two glass panes, eight light blue concrete, and then moving forward, you shall place two light blue concrete, glass pan, light blue concrete, glass pan, light blue concrete, glass pan, four light blue concrete, and then across this section here with six, i.e. left. Then forward with eight. Then a glass pan, a light blue concrete, a glass pan, four light blue concrete, right with three, forward with two, then a glass pan, then a light blue concrete, then a glass pan and then a light blue concrete. Guess what? Copy that row one more time. This is an absolute journey. All right. Um. Yeah. This is gonna be a long tutorial. Well, the times, the time of the video or length of the video will probably help you with that. Also, I might as well throw this out here. For the inside, I'm likely doing um one one part for the first floor and one part for the second floor. I'm just not gonna succumb myself to a two-hour interior tutorial. Like, this, no shot, man. This exterior, like, is enough of an annoyance. Like, we've already been here, I think, for, like, 40 minutes, and we're only two floors down. Then what you can do is you can place a real light blue concrete on top of that. Again, this one's just a numbers game. Like, there's not much else to it other than just numbers. I also might end up doing the fence on the interior, <clears throat> interior for the first floor, depending on how I'm feeling by the end of this. Depending on if I have any sanity left. So, okay, we're gonna do some fun things here, are we? What are we gonna do? If you want to get rid of your oak stairs temporarily and get out oak planks... What you want to do is where you have these two oak stairs at the back and you have this gap in the floor, you want to fill it in with oak planks. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of revolving with this first inventory spot. So get rid of the oak planks, get out dark oak trap doors. Under each oak plank, place a dark oak trap door. Just so you still have that dark, I guess, brown. Uh, not really black. I guess, yeah, dark brown underneath there. Uh, like that. And then you can actually get rid of that and get out. Polished deep slate slabs. We're going to use this for the slab and the block version if you have some sort of OCD against that. Which I actually do, to be honest. But I'm just going to cry about it for this part, because I'm not going to clear another block. So basically, you come up um, inside this gap above the little uh, balcony at the back here, where you would go into the furnace room. And you'll have a yellow and a pink wall, and at the top, you want to place a polished deep slate block on top of each yellow or pink block, like so. At the back side, which is the door side, you want to place an upside down slab in each of those blocks, and then another one moving forward at the left. In the front right-hand corner, just place another upside-down slab. And that's your hole in the floor, and the floor that it is. Now, 
What's next for our fun? Hold on, let me confirm that I actually know what I'm talking about right here. Okay, yeah. So, you want to come to the orange terracotta section now, and we're going to start the third floor. Sorry, I know I went quiet for a good second there. You want to wrap the entire orange terracotta section in stripped oak wood on top. And again, make sure you do the corner thing. I'm not going to specify that anymore, but just figure it out, I guess. I don't know. And then when you hit this block, you'll go again, I guess, back the two. Or the three, I should say, sorry. And then you'll go right by seven. Hold on, where am I? I'm here. Let me just highlight this paragraph real quick. Actually, that's good enough. Yeah, you'll go right by seven. And then you'll go back six. Left four. Back by 18. And it's like confirm that lines up, which it does. Cool. Left ten. Four by three, so you should be back on the wall again, just for a confirmation. Left by seventeen. Oh my God, why do these numbers have to exist, man? Forward eleven. So you should be on the corner here of the light blue. Left three. Forward by 15. And then, hold on, I really was stupid with the notes there. And then you'll just bring it right by um, six. And then you'll just trace on top of the rest of this little light blue section here, because the less numbers I have to say, the better. And also, the quicker it goes. There you go, there's your third floor marked out. Not bad. I Actually, it's really interesting doing it this way. This is more fun, I think. Get rid of your birch door, because you don't need it for, like, at least another floor. And get out dark oak planks. And wherever you have an overhang, you're just going to want to fill in, and in line with the stripped oak wood, you're just going to want to fill in with dark oak planks. I don't have much else to say here. I'm, you know, we're, we're starting to get to that point in this where I'm like, all right, you know, we've been here for long enough. And then I'm going to have to figure out some other number because I forgot that it existed. Okay, that's fine. Alrighty. So. Pretty much this entire floor is light. Well, not actually, that's a lie. Uh, but now this is actually where you can get rid of your glass panes. Never thought I'd say the day. No, never thought I'd see the day. Get rid of your. Actually, just clear your inventory. We're gonna start from scratch. I know we need some of those again, but it's just easier to like you know get a fresh start. And I'm gonna tell you to start off by getting out oak stairs, dark oak stairs, light blue concrete, white concrete. Yellow wool, pink concrete, stripped oak wood. Some of these materials we just can't go without, you know? And I will call it, what will I call it? Oak slabs. And I guess I'll go dark oak slabs. I actually don't know if we need dark oak slabs. I just want to get them out. What is that block there? Hold on, that block might have actually been a block that I wanted. Oh look, there's me. Okay, yeah, I did probably want that instead. That's fine. I'll live with it. Alright, so, come to the orange terracotta section, and you want to trim... Okay. Come to the back right of it, actually. We're gonna start there. And you want to count to the third stripped oak wood forward. That's this one. You want to trace the rest of that moving forward and just all the way around with oak stairs. And again, that will be in line with the stripped oak wood, like so. 
You'll then place two rows of dark oak stairs going around in the same fashion. And you'll kind of just stop when you hit the edges. Like, you know, even there, it just kind of, you know, stops. Oh my god, I lied. Okay. Um, and tough luck. Get rid of your dark oak slabs and get out orange terracotta. Because before... Actually, I'm going to do that second row first. Well, I'm going to do them, I guess, simultaneously, evidently. But I'll remove that even though we need it. Just so I can be better at professionally tutorializing this. Alright. So at the back right, you can actually place an orange terracotta in this little um, gap between the stairs there. Now... Uh, at the front, you can place another row of dark oak stairs. Make sure you curl the edges. So at the, the right, for this right block will be facing right, for this left block will be facing left. Like so. And then this is where things start to get, I was gonna say intense, but it's really not intense at all. Um, I don't actually need that right now, never mind. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is... Come to the kind of, um, how far do I want to actually go? Okay, yeah, I'll say, come to the, uh, section above the garage, this row of stripped oak wood, and you want to just place a row of light blue concrete on top of it. We're only honing in on this section right now. Going left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter. Place two light blue concrete, white concrete, three light blue concrete, white concrete, and then two light blue concrete. Copy that row one more time. And then you can bring that up with two additional rows of light blue concrete. It's actually two, it's not one. Like so. Take the- that looks so dumb. Take the right side of that light blue and bring it back with two rows. And then, this is kind of a really weird step to explain. Um... Hold on, let me count this number, actually, because I'm gonna give the, you the full number. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, okay. You want to, going across here, uh, kind of in line with the stripped oak wood, you want to place 13 light blue concrete. So you'll basically, when you stop, you'll line up, you'll be one short of the end of this row of dark oak. Like that. And then going left to right, you'll place two light blue concrete, and then a white concrete, and the rest of the row, the rest of the row will be light blue. Copy that row one more time. And place two rows of light blue on top of that. We actually still do need orange terracotta, but it's going to be way at the end because it's that left section on top of the porch, which we are almost actually there. We're like halfway done, not really. Um, <laughs> get rid of the orange terracotta, though, and get out polished deep slate again because I forgot we needed it again. And um, basically at the back of this orange terracotta section, where the roof kind of randomly decides that it wants to end, you want to place polished deep slate kind of in the gap in front of that, and also you want to actually make this corner block of stripped oak, you want to make this a polished deep slate here. Like that, it's that kind of inner corner there, you see it. The block behind that you'll bring up with five light blue concrete. Then you'll bring forward with three and then connect it down with, I guess, four. You can bring that light blue back two rows and also connect it forward to the other light blue. I don't know why I said forward so weirdly there. Okay, perfect. Exactly where that's supposed to go. There you go. Now, this next little section is yellow wool. So... Yeah, make it yellow wool, I guess. So basically, this is a really weird thing to explain, but basically, I guess this row of seven uh, stripped oak will just be yellow wool on top. One row only. And then you'll go back by six. And then you'll go left by six. So you're creating a kind of backwards C shape. And that'll be important in a second here. Because that other side does actually get filled in. I think it might actually just be blank. Yeah, it is just blank. Um, so going across the front and the right only, because that's all we need to do. You want to place... Hold on. I want to make sure that's actually that number. Yeah, it is that number. Four yellow wool. White concrete. Two yellow wool. Then go back with two yellow wool. White concrete and then three yellow wool. And then you'll also... If you want to just place a row of yellow wool on top of this back row here, you can just to make it easier to figure out. Then you'll place yellow wool... Or sorry, you'll copy that row one more time. Sorry, I'm ahead of myself a little bit here. 
And then you'll place two rows of yellow wool on top of that. Now this is where it'll get a little bit more interesting, but we're not actually going to worry about that right now, I don't think. Will we? Will I at least, you know, mark it out? I might. Do I have the material? No, oh, no, I don't have the materials. Never mind, that's not important. Ignore anything actually happened there. Yeah, okay, that is what I thought it was. So. The four... Behind the yellow wool section we just did, these four stripped oak woods that have light blue concretes directly below them. It's these four. You'll place upside down oak slabs off the right of. Then you'll place going up diagonally leftward, or you'll place three rows of dark oak stairs from that. So it'll be in line with the end of the yellow wool. And then if you want to go backward or up or diagonally left from that with a row of light blue concrete and then bring that up with another row of light blue, you can do so as well. That'll literally... Again, we're just finishing this floor by floor. There's nothing crazy happening here. Um, the next section is everybody's favorite color, pink. So, on top of this stripped... Any of these stripped oaks that stick out, basically, or this kind of like, you know, the sticky-outy L-shape, you'll just place pink concrete on top of like so and i'm gonna also at this back left i'll bring it forward by three and actually at the front right i'll bring it left by two so you're gonna kind of have this shape it looks like hangman i love my random analogies they're so great um anyway off the um right side going front to back you want to place three pink concrete white concrete my discord pings are just adding up Two pink concrete, white concrete, two pink concrete, white concrete, and then four pink concrete. And then going across the back from there, you'll place three pink concrete, three white concrete, and then four pink concrete. Copy that row one more time. I guess the entire section is not really a row. It's more than a row. And then this is where I hate everything because I did it this way. You'll bring the left, or the right wall, I should say, up with two rows of pink concrete. Nothing problematic there. The back side, you'll copy it again, so it's basically going, I guess, from the finished side to the open side. You'll place three pink, three white, four pink. Again, and then you'll place one row of pink concrete on top of that. So maybe I was a little dramatic, but I wish I would have done those separately, so I wouldn't have had to do that. And then these little kind of, like, indents I just bring up with four pink concrete per. Like so. Nothing crazy happening. We'll worry about the, um, trap doors later, because I really don't want to do those right now. If I'm going to be entirely honest with you here. All right. You want to come to the now the back end where you have the end of the pink concrete. Actually, before we do that, hold on. Come to the back right-hand pink concrete corner, or the corner of that pink concrete, which is this one right here. And the stripped oak wood you will bring down to the ground. And you see it'll line up with my purple. Like so. And then you'll do the same thing you did with the uh, orange section, where you'll place the upside on oak stairs kind of in the corner. The corners there. It just makes it look a little bit fancier, I suppose. I don't really know why it's there. I didn't actually make this thing. And then we have one more corner, one more of those corners to do. I think only one, although I can actually check. Oh, no, there's another one because there's the uh, balcony at the top. So now what you're going to want to do is from the pink concrete, you want to, after this little corner here, you'll place going across the back, light blue concrete, two block gap, and then the rest of this back row will be light blue. Copy that row three more times. This is a very basic pack, I suppose. I don't really know. And then you'll place a row of light blue on top of that entire thing, so it'll just kind of, you know, make that an archway there. Um. Now, going... Actually, before I go forward... Let me check something real quick, because I know I screwed up at least one spot. Okay, I did. Although, we'll go back to that in a moment here. Because I don't want to forget... But you'll also bring this corner here, this back left corner, basically the entire build, this one right here. You'll bring it down to the ground with stripped oak wood, and then again, you'll place the upside on oak stairs in the corners. Now, the thing I forgot I want to do before I forget to do it, again, 
Come to the right side in that yellow wool section on the third floor. It's the only yellow one on the third floor. You can't really miss it. Uh, it looks really ugly with the white, but the trapdoors will actually kind of uh, resaturate that, I suppose. But you have five dark oak planks, right? Not the middle row of that, and not the middleest block, but the one in front and behind that you'll place upside down oak stairs facing left. Bring them left with normal oak stairs, and then bring those normal stairs down with upside down stairs again, like that. Just got some support happening. Now. You'll come back to the left side. And actually, if you want to, just for funsy fun. Yeah, why not? Place a light blue concrete on top of each stripped oak wood remaining. And then what you want to do is you want to go on top of that and you want to place from the back here going along. You'll place... One light blue concrete, four white concrete, six light blue concrete, then you'll go left with three, four with five, then place a white concrete, light blue concrete, white concrete, light blue concrete, white concrete, light blue concrete, white concrete, and then three light blue concrete. Rest of this little rest of the floor actually also wants to be light blue. You can copy that row one more time. And then place two rows of light blue on top of that. And then there is three floors down. We're not even, like, finished, which is upsetting. Although the 4th and the 5th aren't really that crazy. This is kind of where things mellow down a little bit here. But yeah, there you go. That's your build currently. And there you all actually see it from the front. It looks a little bit interesting. That actually does look really weird. Although, actually, before I even think about doing anything else, come back to that left section because I keep forgetting these supports, and I swear I won't forget any of them. But um, at this kind of left section where you have the four one-block windows, you'll come to the second dark oak plank in, so that's this one at the front and the back, and you'll place an, uh, an upside down oak stair like that. There, now you have three floors actually done. Alright, so this next um, stripped oak section is fairly simple. Basically, it's the same as the previous row, except there's one change. And that one change is at this front left, which we'll worry about in a second here. But basically, what you want to actually do is you can start at this front left light blue concrete here. And this wants to actually be a sideways stripped oak this time there. And you can just trace around the entire build from the previous section. And then when you hit the um, right side, and you're kind of in the spot where you would end up connecting, you know, normally to what we have. Um, I just lost my train of thought. Where did it go? Please, somebody find it. Um, hold on. I'll get there in a second here. But you're basically going to want to connect just a perfect um, square. So, again, once you hit this point here, you're going to stop right there. And you kind of see, right? I mean, this is basically just asking to line up. So you're going to want to line them up. And then the corner, you can also connect straight down to the ground with stripped oak wood, which I'm going to come from the bottom up because I can. Like that. So not really anything crazy happening. Um, now, guess what we need again? <laughs> Birch doors. Um, you should be okay to get rid of your polished deep slate. You're going to need it for the train tracks, but you don't need it now. Uh, so I'm just going to get out birch doors. And then at this section of light blue here, this row, it's the more backish of the rows. You're going to want to ignore this corner block here. Just, like, pretend it doesn't exist. Um, I was hoping I'd make that oriented differently. Oh my god, it's a squirrel. And the rest of this one's a- No, it is not. Sorry. Let me- Let me rephrase that. You wanna play- <laughs> You wanna play six light blue concrete. Birch door, and then six light blue concrete. I guess just cause we, uh, can. On top of the birch door, place a white concrete. 
And basically what you want to do is you want to place going left and right of the door three light blue concretes and then a white concrete. Bring either of these end white concretes up by two. Oh god. And then you basically want to place a light blue concrete on top of each of those upper white concretes and then you want to not have a face. So what you want to end up doing is you want to kind of box everything off from there. So basically, if you want to actually connect those light blues together and then, you know, bring them off the sides by two and then just connect them down and then fill in the middle. Basically, you want this. <laughs> For a lack of better grammar. And then what you want to do is directly in front of the birch door at the uh, stripped oak wood actually below it. So not directly in front of it. You want to place an upside down oak slab. Bring it left and right with the upside down oak stair, and then another upside down oak slab. And then bring the r entire row forward with another row of upside down slabs, like so. So, this is kind of where things get a little bit strange. But you want to, at the right side here, you want to basically bring this light blue all the way back until it hits this corner here of yellow. Or where the yellow and the light blue meets. So, uh, just bring it back to that corner, and then... Okay, I literally went one too far, and then one too short, perfect. And then you want to extend in an additional one. Like that. And then just very, very briefly, going front to back, you'll place two light blue concrete, white concrete, light blue concrete, white concrete. Rest of the row will be light blue. You'll copy that row one more time. And then you'll place two rows of light blue on top. Oh god, I'm screwing up. Like so. That balcony here, this balcony here does not have a door. In case that was a question, which it probably was. Um, what you can do is at the back here, you can actually take the top light blue, bring it back by three, and then connect that end one down. Like so. Then you want to go back diagonally right with a row of light blue that is just as tall. And then that will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You'll bring at least the top two blocks back by 10. Like so. This is where I'm going to start to hate everything. Okay, so, um... We're going to focus on this pink section, because it's really stupid. Um, you basically, on top of each stripped oak wood in line with a pink concrete, you'll place another pink concrete moving up. Ignore this corner this time. This corner you don't want to touch. And then, off of the right edge and back edge, and only those two, you'll place a row of ups down oak slabs coming out of that pink concrete that will overhang off the back left and front right by a block. Make sure it's the same on both sides from here. Kind of. Well, it kind of is. You'll then go... You'll then, I guess, go kind of in with an upside down oak slab, and then that upside down oak slab you can bring up with an oak stair. Then go in with an upside down oak stair, and then up with another oak stair from that. Like that. So you'll have two rows. Do you want a third? I don't think you do. Not entirely, so you'll just place, and then you can connect those two rows of oak stairs together with dark oak stairs, just like this in kind of a corner shape. However, at the back left, you will actually do it one more time, so you'll place an upstone oak stair with a stair on top, and then you'll place dark oak stairs along the back, and then again, make sure this end one curls into that wall. That's a kind of important piece. And then the two little gaps you will have underneath the stairs, you'll just place pink concrete in to fill it in. I'm going to leave this corner blank because I couldn't care less what it looks like. And then starting from this uh, stripped oak wood at the... This is at the back kind of... Just... You can see where I am. I'm left of the pink concrete. You'll start here and you'll go across the back with... Hold the phone. Four, five, six, seven... With eight light blue concrete. You'll bring that up with an additional row. And then you'll go right to left and you'll place a light blue a white, two light blue, two white, and then two light blue. 
Then you'll copy that row one more time. And you'll place one row of light blue on top of that that connects all the way across to this corner there. So we're almost there, boys. We're so close. This is going to be a nightmare to edit. Um, you can bring the furthest left row forward with four rows. Like so. And then go left with five from that corner. And then go forward with six. Which a lot of this isn't going to be seen, but it's just easier to mark the whole thing out, you know? And then you'll go right with seven. And this is on the Z coordinate for me. So if I take this, you see it's at 84. And this should also be at 84, which is correct. So basically, if you took this straight back, it would connect to that diagonally. Which is actually going to play into, I think, our very... No, not quite our next step. But we're going to get there in a second here. What I am going to tell you to do real quick is... Not really quickly, but... What I'm going to tell you to do is... It's going to kind of be a little bit weird. Because this is easier to see how it works for me than what it's going to be to explain. But basically, because there's not really the like floor in... But this kind of back left corner, it's the one that has the support under it. And basically, you're going to want to place oak stairs in front of the stripped oak. And then you'll go across the back until you just stop before the um, the wall starts there, this light, light blue wall. And then you'll bring that up diagonally in order to the row of dark oak stairs, or just in, on top of the stripped oak. And you'll just end abruptly on this side here, like just before you see that stripped oak is kind of just chilling. And then, oh god, what do we get rid of now? Oh no, oh, this is a problem. Um, pink concrete? Yeah, pink concrete. And get out dark oak slabs, which we're also going to use for uh, planks, because I need to. And then you'll place upper diagonally, and from that, a row of dark oak slabs. Then bring it in with a row of planks. I as the villager sounds of the planks being or the slabs being turned into full blocks and then you'll go up diagonally in order to the row of stairs again and again it'll still just abruptly end there's really nothing happening here other than just sus um now what do we get rid of man i hate this uh get rid of your oh my god we literally need the birch door in like 15 seconds but that's fine we'll leave that blank for now um, so I'm going to kind of throw a placeholder row out here. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to not start with that, but I will do that still. Uh, you want to come back to this light blue that we were just working at, and you want to come to the right side of it. So we're going to continue this again. You want to go four diagonally to the right with a low of light, with a row of light, low of right blue. Perfect. Row of light blue that's just as tall. You'll bring that top block forward by three, and then that end block down by four. I take that bottom block and I would just bring it forward to the light blue. So you kind of have a placeholder row there. You don't need the row actually filled in. I'm only having this here so we can uh, just, you know, have it there. I don't know what you'd expect from me. Okay. So, um, now what you want to do is, hold on, I have a note thing for this so I don't actually have to, like, keep looking up and, well, I still have to look up and down. So you want to come to the third light blue of this. That's this block right here. And you want to bring this left with four yellow wool. And then you want a birch door, but you would like an oak plank preferably underneath it. I'm going to get rid of my oak stairs temporarily and get out oak planks. Because we really need these planks, man. And then again, there will be a birch door there. Preferably handle should be on the right side. And then you'll bring it left with an additional... Four yellow wool. Oh, God. Then you'll go back with eight. And then you'll connect it back to the right, like so. Okay, now, hear me out when I say this. You want to get rid of your birch door, and you want to get out honey blocks. 
And we don't need them at this very second, but we'll need them in about 12 seconds. Uh, you want to, going in the same fashion we just placed that previous row, you want to place three yellow wool, white concrete, skip over the door, white concrete, three yellow wool, then go back with two yellow wool, three white concrete, three yellow wool, then go across the back with two yellow wool, three honey blocks, and three yellow wool. I would probably, behind the honey blocks, just place yellow wool, which I'm also going to actually preemptively place that next row. Copy that row one more time, except on top of the birch door, you want to place another white concrete. Like so. Then, okay, this is kind of where things get a little questionable. You want to bring everything up with two yellow wool, except for the door section. So these three white concrete, you'll bring up with one yellow wool and then a white con or a white concrete per white concrete. That made no sense, but you know it looks like that. That looks desaturated as frick on my on the console. It does not look that way on PC for some reason. That's weird. But, uh, yeah, and then anything of that light blue that's still visible from back here, you'll just fill this in with light blue. And now we have a lot of oak to fill in with. So, this entire balcony wants to be filled in with oak planks. And also, that kind of weird roof we have. Did I? Oh, this is actually made of stripped oak. I made this just a row of stripped oak there at the right. But, um, at the... Here, underneath this kind of roof, this is, should be oak planks, like that. That was where I was so mad earlier when I didn't have the oak planks, because I was like, bruh. This is, uh, fun tutorial. We've been at this for already over an hour, and we're, we still have, like, a floor and a half to go. Floor plus, like, train and stuff. Yeah, I most likely will do the fence at the beginning of the interior tutorial. I know that's a little bit unfortunate, and I'm sorry for that, because, you know, but I'm just running out of time and energy. Like so. And also at the front here, you should probably fill in this row with light blue. There you go. Um, I'm gonna finish building up the base build, and then I'll start to worry about the fencing and stuff. So, um, basically you want to bring everything up with, an, with a stripped oak wood. So this kind of pattern that we have right here, it's just, all of it wants to be up with stripped oak wood. And if you also want to, again, place a placeholder row, and I'll, I'll show you where. Um, and kind of the same spot where that light blue placeholder row was, that might be a good consideration just to help. Like, again, here. Just going across here as well. Because, I mean, I think, oh, hey, look, there's me. I think, um, it, it'll just help mark out this next floor, because it's literally the only thing that's brought up from here. And so, yeah. Let's start with that rectangle, actually. Why not? You can bring that rectangle up... Or, okay, it's not even a rectangle. God dang it. Um, let me make sure that this ends where I think it ends. Because if it... Yeah, okay, it does. So, at the back right, which just actually lines up literally perfectly. So, I'm going to remove that block because it's annoying. You'll just kind of connect this back here. And you'll see, you'll have this as a rectangle in the middle. And then that whole rectangle you can bring up with just a row of light blue. So, we have it marked out. It's the only thing that's up, other than roofs. And then I believe there are only windows at the front, am I correct? I am correct. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of focus on the front. So at the front, you can place another row of light blue on top of that. Then going left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter. Place two light blue, white, two light blue, white, light blue, White, two light blue, white, two light blue. Copy that row one more time. And then place a row of light blue on top. Like so. 
All right, so from that, what you want to do is the next row up, you want to leave a one block guy moving in, and then you want to place going either left or right or right to left, does not matter. You want to place, wait, hold on, let me confirm this. Okay, yeah. Four light blue concrete, three white concrete, and then four light blue concrete. Copy that row one more time, except again, you want to leave one block off either side. And then you want to place rows of light blue on top of that to gradually get shorter on each side by one until you reach a one block point. You don't actually need the, re the top block, you only need the three, but it's just nice to have the top block. And then you can bring the sides, you can bring basically, you can bring the whole thing back. And I only would bring the light blue, you know, the like, I don't know, four rows of light blue back at the right and left. <clears throat> and then the back I would just make that peak again because it's nice to have... Uh, it's, you know, pretty, pretty useful. Gonna talk minimally. <laughs> like, I'm almost freaking winded from talking too much. My god, this is unfortunate. We're almost there, though. I'm determined. This is, uh... I'm recording this Thursday, you're seeing this probably Tuesday, I think that's a fair assumption. I don't know man, it's, it's a lot. There you go. We'll end up uh, matching that point to point in a moment here, although I'm gonna not be concerned about that yet. I wanna do like, two other things before I forget to do either of those things. That's the opposite on stairs. Oh, I didn't even do that, did I? Well, we don't have them, so I can't do that yet. Come to the right side, and where you have this yellow wool section, you want to fill in the top of it in with oak blanks. Like so. And then... Yeah, we'll not do the other one yet. You... God, I hate the things we need, because we need so many things. Um... Okay, I'm gonna tell you to... Alright, this is gonna actually be annoying, but it's okay. You want to take the front left and front right hand corners of this balcony here, and you want to bring them up with six stripped oak per. So they're actually going to be as tall as that, uh... There. The, um... Yellow section. Uh, get rid of your... Oh my god, I guess oak slabs for now, and get out oak fence. And connect those two together with fence, and also bring the right one just kind of back by all three. Yes, all three. And then the left one you will bring back. You basically want to bring it back until you have a... F um, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Until you're six short of the end, so I'll actually count that. So it's 16 oak fence going back. And then you'll place at that corner there, you'll place six stripped oak moving up. And one little thing that's a bit annoying that I forgot about is the back side of this, I would break into the oak planks in line with that stripped oak wood and make it a row of stripped oak wood. I just had it that way. And then oak fence on top of that. Like so. We're going to mark out our other two balconies with the fences, and then we're going to just kind of smack a bunch of roofs out here, and then we're going to do one other section, and then we're going to do some trapdoors and some rails, and then we're good. Uh, at the birch door that kind of just chills here, this one that uh, sticks out of the front, I guess, tall middle section, you'll place an oak fence around the outside of that. One, two, three, four, five. You'll bring the corners up with five oak fence per corner. Really, is only two. Not me bringing both of them up too far. How do I do that twice? And then, yeah, we'll stop there because we don't have oak slabs anymore. Yeah, unfortunate. And then at the um, left side here, or the right side here, sorry, this yellow section, you'll bring each of the four corners up with six stripped oak wood.
And then you'll connect them at the three open sides with oak fence. Obviously, you don't really need it at the left. That would be a little bit pointless. Imagine, right, you have a door here, and then you just have a fence. Like, no, you can't access this. Sorry, guys. That'd be pretty funny, to be honest. I'd get a good laugh out of that. All right. Do we start throwing roofs down here? I think we do. So, I'm going to tell you to, even though we do need, well, actually, I'm going to save a step real quick. At the, let me confirm it's the front and the back, because if it's not the back, then it is the back. Okay. At this kind of middle peak, you want to ignore the top block, and you want to count down to the, first, the row of three, and in this middle block, you'll place an oak fence. You'll bring that fence down by one, and then this lower one you'll bring left and right by one, and you'll do that at the front and the back of this. Now, we're done with light blue concrete. We're done. We're not done with yellow wool, actually. We're not done. Okay, well, we're done with light blue concrete. That's all that matters. I'm satisfied with that result. I'll say clear your inventory. And get out. Oak stairs. Oak planks. Oak slabs. Dark oak stairs. Dark oak planks. And dark oak slabs. And then I'll say... Orange terracotta, white concrete, and I'll just go yellow wool. I'm probably missing something, and that yellow wool probably won't even be used by the time we get rid of it. But just so you're aware. Um, we're going to start with the um, hugest roof on the entire build, that being this little tiny... Hu actually, no, sorry, my bad. This really big one at the front middle here. On top of these two top oak fences, you'll place oak slabs, and you'll connect them together. You'll bring the left and right oak slabs back with oak planks, and then you'll connect those planks together with dark oak planks. Now. We're going to play some four corners here. Everybody's favorite. Actually, we're going to play three corners, because there's not even a fourth corner. But on top of each of these, these three stripped oak woods, you can place a, a single dark oak plank per. You'll bring it off of the left or the right, whichever seems more logical to you, which is the right from the right one, the left from the left ones. Um, you'll place an oak plank. You'll bring that plank. F the front two will be forward with a oak slab, and then the back one will be back with an oak slab. And then you'll bring each oak plank, except for that right one, I guess. That right one kind of just hits a wall. But, um, <laughs> poor guy. You'll bring each one in with an oak plank, in with an upside down oak slab, up with an oak slab, I screwed that up already, because you'll bring each of those ups and down slabs and normal slab in, with an, in an additional row, then in with two planks, in with two ups and down oak slabs would be a more logical way to say that, bring each ups and down slab up with a normal slab, and then you'll place your two planks in the middle, like so, and then that again, that front right one will uh, go back with a plank, and then it'll just kind of run into a wall, um, so not very helpful. But now you know what the drill is from here. Um, you'll connect the front two oak slabs together, and then you'll also bring that back one just across the back until it slams into a wall. And basically what you want to do is you want to bring each oak plank, or each oak thing, right with its respective dark oak material. This includes upside down slabs this time. And then, when you kind of start to run into this section in the middle here, you just want to bring up the, um, stripped oak with yellow... You, yeah, you want to bring the stripped oak here up with yellow wool when you start to run into an issue with that. So, like, you'll see after these two rows, I'll have to bring the front up with, I believe, just one row of yellow, yeah. Although, um, and then it'll be a row of dark oak. Planks on top. So the planks won't be interfered with it, but the upside on slabs will. And only the upside on slabs. Just as clarification. Time for me to go silent again. I'm trying not to breathe in your ear too loudly, because, you know... I don't know, that's just weird. <sighs> you, you know, only a little loud. Um, but, uh, yeah. For anyone who's been here this long, respect the fact that you had the attention span to deal with me for this long. Especially if it's straight, like, mad props. I don't know how I've dealt with myself for this long straight, man. <laughs> Ignoring the fact that I'm living every day and, you know, have to deal with myself then. But we're gonna focus on the tutorial part, specifically. 
All right, there you go. And then we will end up punching into this guy for the orange terracotta section, which we might actually do next. I might just, like, throw that out of the way because I can. Um, all right, so I feel like this is an error that I made, right? But I'm going to make it as I... I'm going to make it as I made it. At the front and the... At the front... Or, sorry, the left two pillars, you'll place an upside down oak stair off of the right of it and off of the, I guess, inner side of it. So that'll either be the back or the front. You figure it out from there. Like that. I don't know why I did it like that. However, those upside down oak stairs will connect together with upside down oak slabs, which makes sense for these two. But the other two, I'm still not quite... Or the other pillar over there, I'm still not quite sure why that doesn't have anything. But any to each their own, I suppose. You want to find the middle two, which is in the center. I don't really know what you'd expect. And you'll place two oak stairs facing into each other. On top of those, you'll place two upstone oak stairs facing into each other. Uh, come back to those bottom stairs. What did I just kick? Come back to those bottom two stairs, and you'll bring them kind of out with normal slabs, and you'll go up diagonally outward with an upstone slab from there. So it'll give you this effect. It's bad, I know, but nobody asked. Actually, I asked. I like some feedback, but only if it's good. Okay, um, I'm joking, by the way. Negative feedback is negative feedback. Um, you want to come to the top of this. We're going to just wipe the orange terracotta section off the face of this planet. So you want to come to the last row of slabs of the top-ish section here. That's this row. And you'll come to the fourth one left. That's this one. You'll break five moving left. And then, just because we can... Break six rows going back. Like so. I guess this row of dark oak planks is included in that six now. Poor guy. We really don't need it broken. I'm only breaking this entire thing so we can access it from the inside because we will need to for the lever part of this. And then you can, um... Basically kind of outline this shape with the orange terracotta so it'll be a five by seven. Four, five... Oh, okay. I broke too far. My bad. But yeah, it'll be, again, three blocks away from this side, and it'll be five by seven, four, five, six, seven. You'll take the front middle block once you have that layout, and you'll bring it up with two white concrete. Every other orange terracotta will be brought up by three. Also, I think the orange terracotta is just a better color than the orange concrete. It's a really weird color, though, because it's kind of like a faded orange. And I kind of struggled to make a decision, and orange terracotta was what I settled with. Off of the left and the right rows, you can place rows of oak stairs that overhang the front and the back by one, and not two. And then you'll bring each one in with an upside down oak stair. Up with an oak stair. And with an upside, upside down oak stair. Up with an oak stair, and then place a plank in the middle with a slab on top. And then you'll do that at the back as well. Perfect. Perfect part two. Oh, what did I even hit? How did I just, like... <laughs> I just got spun out by a stair. Um, fill in the peaks you have with orange terracotta, and then fill in the top of the roof in with its respective dark oak materials. Plural. Come on, I just want to get this thing done, man. This has been way longer than it needs to, have, needs to be. Literally gonna have to make another cut because if the video clips are too long, I have to shove them into Share Factory and split them, and then I can't use uh, DaVinci to edit. Alrighty. So. Let's come to the um, back, this section here, this kind of big one. You'll, um. Come to the, I guess, the front right of it, which is this block right here. You'll take this and you'll place. I'm actually gonna make this a not cornered one. I don't know why. I have it that way. Um, oh, right, that was, okay, cool. You'll place, off of the right side, you'll place a row of upside down oak slabs, and then it'll come off the back, and it will just go around until it runs into this section that juts out from it. So it'll go across the left here, and then it'll stop there. You can kind of see where that lays. Oh, and I'm gone. Um, you can then bring that around with two rows of dark oak stairs. And at the, um, left side, you'll bring it forward... And then it will kind of come through this section almost, and it'll stick out right here by a block. I don't know how this is supposed to work. 
Because I'm also gone. And actually, that end will be an oak stair. Correct that uh, error that I might have just made. Hold on, let me pop it back in real quick. That actually was a lot of time, but okay, and I'm falling. I'm not even close to where- oh wait, no, never mind, that is where I was. I thought it was an entirely different, like, multiverse. And also, under the stair on the side, you can place an opposite on slab. And then you will want two rows of these stairs, and between these stairs, you'll place upstairs and oak stairs of this open side. The other side, it kind of just, like, has nothing. Actually, I think it has an oak- it might have an oak stair at the end. Let me confirm this real quick. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, it, for some reason, does not. That's weird. But yeah, this wall will slap into the wall. And then, from here, you can- Oh, we weren't done with light blue, where we- God dang it! Um... You'll place upstairs on oak stair again, like you're gonna place another row of stairs on top, but then you'll place an oak slab and this top of this roof will be dark oak slabs. We'll get there eventually. And then, again, if you want to get rid of your orange terracotta and get out light blue concrete to fill in that little gap at the front of this, you can do so. Oh, that's a really awkward one. There we go. Now, you'll notice we kind of left out this guy here. And you just want to fill in the top of this in with oak planks. Not my dog barking. I'm literally recording, Bailey. Like, don't bark while I'm recording. You know the drill. Hopefully. Alright, we just have these two roofs and the rails to do. Alright, I'm going to take another quick uh, cut, though, because I can. You want to come down to this section, and you have the more right so stripped oak woods, and you'll place dark oak planks on top of them. You'll bring them right with plank, oak planks, and you'll bring those oak planks away from each other with oak slabs. But you'll also bring them towards each other with ups and down oak slabs, up with oak slabs, in with oak planks, and then an ups and down oak slab with a slab on top in the middle. Bring that entire piece, well actually bring the front and the back oak slabs left with uh, oak, oak slabs, and then the rest of the roof will just be dark oak planks that will, um, you know, or dark oak that will connect to the left. It'll be, you know, basically all of it, the ups and on oak slabs left with oaks, dark, ups and on dark oak slabs, you get the point. I can't speak a proper sentence, so I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> Now, off of the right side here, you will connect the two right ups or the two right stripped spruce stripped oak wood together with ups and down oak slabs. My God! And then the middle one will be brought up with uh, two planks, which you'll have to actually destroy an ups and down slab for that. And then they will be brought. That bottom plank will be brought forward and backward with an oak slab, like so. Alrighty, it's time for the big boy, which I had saved for last. Off of the right and the left, you'll place oak stair rows that overhang the front and the back by one. I don't think I need to explain this any further. However, I'm going to probably actually mark out this roof in the night. Well, no, I'll fill the whole thing in. I think that's a reasonable thing. And then again, play four corners, so each uh, of the overhang stairs in with upside down stair, up with stair, in with upside down stair, up with stair. And then keep doing that until you have the one block center where you will place an oak plank with a slab on top, like so. I'm really... I don't know, I'm bored. I think this might take the cake for the longest tutorial. This might have it. <laughs> I was like, alright, yeah, I think it'll be about an hour and a half, maybe max. I didn't think it'd be like, we're getting close to two hours now. I was not anticipating this when I sat down to record this. Yet here we are. Especially because I'm doing it on console, I'm so much better on console. Thank god I didn't stay on PC the whole time, that would have been a nightmare. Now you have a roof and you'll just fill this thing in with dark oak stairs connecting the oak stairs together and the um, oak... Nope. Yep, the dark oak slabs connecting the oak slabs together. And then we have the yellow section to do and then we have literally two things left to do. And we're 
done. I'm gonna also not give you the play-by-play -play for the power- No, maybe I will. No, I don't know. I'll- I'll show you them. I also gotta remember how they connect, cause I forgot in which way the train goes. Which is a little bit awkward. There you go. Now it does look very bare, doesn't it? Which is good. You want to come to the back of the section. You want to come to the second row of dark oak stairs up. That's this one. Count four to the fourth dark oak stair. So first, second, third, fourth, and break it. Break seven more forward. And then you'll break, I believe, only actually two rows. Yeah, two rows going up or left from that. Like so. I would just place a row of yellow wool at the far right, because the way this is slanted, it's going to be easier to do it this way. And then you'll bring it up with six additional rows of yellow wool. You can actually get rid of your white concrete and get out honey blocks for a moment, well, more than a moment, and you want to take not the top uh, yellow wool, but the one below it at the front here, and you want to bring it left with a honey block. And then everything else, you want to kind of just make this a full yellow wool box, and the gaps that we've made. There's nothing interesting happening here, other than, you know, me being as least wordy as possible. There you go. You should know the drill from here off the right and the left. You'll place rows of oak stairs that extend off the front and the back by one each. Then bring them in at the front and back with an upside down oak stair. Up with an oak stair and then place a plank with a slab on top in the middle. And then you will um, connect the oak stairs together with dark oak stairs and then the oak slab together with dark oak slab like so. That is your base building done, finally. You want to clear your inventory and get out iron trap doors and levers. Now, doing this at the end might be a little bit annoying, but I'm going to just do side by side. And what I would actually recommend doing is when I place them, leave it as I'm look leave it as to what I'm looking at and then go inside yourself and, you know, put the trap doors from there cuz I'll take a back shot on each side. So at the front, it'll be, on the third floor, you have these two windows here at the kind of front left. It'll be iron trap doors either side of that, and also the one window in the middle in line with that. So it's this window right here. On the same floor, I should say. Like that. And then, literally the only other one in this section is at the, um, orange terracotta section. You'll have one to the right, and you'll place one to the left, but you're not going to want to come to the... So you're kind of, um... Like, looking towards those other iron trap doors, so you're looking right towards that white concrete, and you'll place two iron trap doors that way, because that one is kind of open to the side, or towards it, I should say. So there you go, if you need that shot. Okay. Right side. Um, you also want to, at this yellow wool section, I didn't forget about this one, I just didn't feel like doing it with the front. Um, you'll place iron trap doors left and right. If actually both these windows, the uh, one at the right side and the one at the front. And then for the pink concrete, it'll be left and right of this front window. Directly on top of the uh, middle window. And then in front of the back window. And also you'll again go behind that white concrete. And then you'll just place two iron trap doors again. Because that one will open or be kind of half closed. The back has none, and the left has none. So, um, let me give you a far back shot of this. So, those are all the lever placements. I'm going to go screw this mode, and I'm going to try to do this off the top of my memory. I just do levers. Redstone blocks, I think, would work. Although, I don't know, you'd have to test around. Our trapdoor physics don't make any sense in Bedrock. going to be real for you, with you for a second here. But, uh, yeah. And if you have a different way to do this, then by all means, go for it. So far, I haven't not hit one. Alright, it's these windows, too. And then the... I think that's actually all of them. 
Unless I missed one. Yup, I got all those. There's none on the back. None on the left. And then the front. Yup, nice. We are done if you don't care about the train, but I'm sure like 98% of the people that are here care about the train. So, let me pull back up my note sheet because I forgot I closed it earlier. I would use barriers for this step. Because I want to use something that's a little easier to see, I'm going to use smooth stone because of also the lines and the tiles and stuff. So, you'll come to the right side and you'll come to the lower train station and... Um, there is actually no center. That's a little bit awkward. You'll come to this block here and you'll go out with four. Up diagonally to the right one. Right two. Back one. Right one. Back one. Right one. Back one. Up diagonally back one. Oh, okay, hold on, I lost my place. Back one. Up diagonally, back one, back one. You'll go up diagonally, back one, back one. Left one, back one, left one, back one, left one. Up diagonally to the left one, left two. Up diagonally to the left one, and then go left three to connect. Sorry, I had my notes wrong. I had only one of the, I had to go to there and then go around, but I was, you know, a little bit off. Now, from the back one, you want to... Hold on, I'm actually going to orient around real quick, because I have the barrier out in case I screw up again. Um, from this one, you will go... Back two, so this is from all from the front of the build perspective, by the way. Left one, back one, left one, back one, left two, up diagonally to the left, left two, up diagonally to the left, left four. Then you go up diagonally to the left, left three. Up diagonally to the left, left two, forward one, left one, forward one, up diagonally, forward one, forward three, up diagonally, forward one, forward one, uh, hold on, let me think about that. Okay, um, wait. Hold on, I just got so screwed up. Left one, forward three. Right one, forward three. Right one, forward one, right one, forward one. And then it'll just go right. I actually think it'll be forward another block, but you get the point. And then you'll want rails on top of this. Now, I'm going to just go... Actually... I'll give you the pattern, because I'm nice. So, I'm going to start from where we just were. And I'm going to go kind of around. So, you're going to place... Hold on. From inside of this, you'll place... You actually want a little bit of opener here. You'll, you'll place going left... <coughs> sorry. Seven rails... Eight powered rails, and then you'll do the little funny corner thing, and then you'll place one powered rail once the corner thing is done, which is there, and then you'll go around this little squiggly here, and then, so I'm not giving you exact numbers, but I'm giving you roughly where they are, and then when you hit this, when it kind of goes back in a little, goes back right a little bit, I should say, you'll go back with one, two, three, you'll go back with five powered rails, and then you'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight normal rails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight powered rails. And then the rest of this will just be normal rails. 
And then from the other one, I'll start from the top and go down, because I'm cool like that. You'll place a powered rail in the door, and then it'll come out too, and then it will be... No more powered rails on this until the bottom, where you will be, uh, you'll place two sticking out from this, uh, nope, that's one too far, you'll place two sticking out from the doorway, and then it'll go all the way in. Now, let me make sure I get this right. Hello, train. Come around, please. Yes, you're coming through there, so you should come out the back bottom, right? Yes. So, basically, the way these line up is this one that I'm at right now, this bottom left one, it'll go across, and then it'll connect straight back to this one. These two will connect like that. And you can just... I just do all powered rails in here. I might have done it a little bit differently when I originally did this. For the intention of making the speed right, I'm actually going to go a couple here. This one's all polished deep set, by the way, the floor for this. And I also ended up, um, in case this is interesting to anybody, or in case anybody asked, I, um, you know, obviously make sure you, you want all of these powered, preferably. You know, that would not exactly be a bad idea. Would that power that? That would not power that. That would, though. Um... Okay, that didn't even power it. Sick. Actually, I'm gonna go inside and do it here. Not exactly like that, but something like that. Um, but yeah, this one here has oak coming through. But I just kind of brick these off. I'll show you in a minute here how this works. I'll go a couple, I guess, oak or normal rails. I mean, those are not oak. And then these paths are just kind of blacked off. Although, let me get all these powered things powering. And then before I even, um, usually I do them in, like, the corners if I can, like, there. You kind of see that's a little bit more obscure. And then what I did was I, am um, hold on, let me wait for the train to come back around. You need brick, or, you need brick and you need a minecart. There it is. Okay, I thought that was the way it went, I just was not positive. So, um, the train will end up being, from this back middle one here, it'll go up. So I'll actually put it here and then I'll just push it up. Like that, and then it'll go around that way. What I ended up doing with the um, doorways was I went back with two rows of bricks around the whole thing. And then at the third row back, I placed brick at the top three blocks, and I just left a little slit at the bottom. And then in this slit, I actually brought the brick all the way around this path. Like so. Um, yeah, that is actually the way that would be oriented. Cool. So I guess I'll leave it, too, for the entire thing. And then, I don't know, just black off the top, whatever you think works best. Really, there's not a huge system to this, other than just get it right and do it. Or just, just you know, make, make it look the way you want it to look. Although the pathways are, in fact, bricked off. That is a factual statement. But I, I just blacked off the top of these because, you know, I don't want people seeing. Although it is kind of weird when you see it from the inside, because the thing just teleports. Um, and again, there might be a more specific measurement that you would like for this. I don't really care enough to do it, to be honest, like, just, if I'm gonna be straight up honest, I just don't care enough. Did the train get stuck somewhere? Okay, I was gonna say not even where I'd expect it to get stuck, but yeah, no, that one was in fact off as well. Make sure to do a better job than me. I'm gonna kinda, like, place it there, and I hope that power didn't... Pain. That should, hopefully. What? Oh my god, I was off a block. Okay, yeah, make sure the thing actually runs, too. You know, that's kind of an important part of uh, the train. But once you get it running, you know, then yeah, you've got a working uh, Alpha 1. And then again, the inside, so... um. Floor 1 will hopefully cover the exterior at the beginning, and that'll literally take, like, 30 seconds. Nothing crazy happening there, and then, um... Yeah, because it's just really the fence. If you want to, like, mark it out yourself by just looking at this, and feel free. Um... But, um, yeah, once you have done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your bare-bones Hello Neighbor Alpha 1 complete, i.e. no interior, no fencing. 
which again we'll be worried about in the next one but thank you guys for watching this video and hopefully you guys did enjoy this video have a fantastic rest of your day or night and i will see you on the next one peace